today's meeting. Um, we have some visitors, and uh, we'll introduce them as we go along here. And we have a camera crew. <laughs> so uh, let's start with a roll call. Um, Matt. Matt. Sparty Erkin. Chris Cole. Karen Schutte. Michelle Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <kidding. laughs> Excellent time. <laughs> I'm Eric Spencer. Janine Petty. Alan Wheeler. Bill Beard. Beth Borozon. Ryan Good. Barbara Tillman. Brad Nelson. And Tom Ryan. And I want to welcome uh, Secretary of State Michelle Reagan and uh, Election Director Eric Spencer and team. <laughs> Janine Petty, the Deputy Janine, State Election Director. Deputy State Election Director, thank you. Um, we will all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. All right, we have a call to the public. Is there anyone who would like to speak to the group? I would. Okay, before you begin, uh, we do have a time limit on speaking to the group. Uh, you have four minutes each. And as you know, we cannot discuss what you're speaking to us about. Okay? We can just listen to you. My name is John Brakey. Uh, I'm with a group called Audit AZ. I'm going to use another, also another group called Cove. And first off, I want to thank the Secretary uh, for being here and also for helping us when we had a problem with the Board of Supervisors, because this good group here passed a resolution, you know, asking to go ahead and make the elections verifiable. And I want to thank Tom and the whole group because it was a unanimous motion and, uh, and it really put the Board of Supervisors in a position that they kind of had to go along with it. And going along with it, after the board voted to do it, then Huckleberry stood up and said, whoa, whoa slow down, folks. We need to have the approval of the Secretary of State, and we need to get an opinion from them and an opinion from the Attorney General, and to try to do this in less than two weeks. Your office moved extremely fast. It's unusual, as my lawyer explains, to get an opinion to go ahead and do these things as fast as you did it and the Attorney General. And thank you, Mr. Spencer. Uh, because, you know, verifying elections, elections should not be a crime, okay? And, uh, and, you know, to watch this whole thing go down, that these people voted, and then Huckleberry said, well, stop here, uh, you could be committing a class four felony. We have all this on film. Uh, it's heartbreaking to see that situation uh, happen. And, uh, and then thanks to people like Allie Miller uh, and other people who stood up and contacted your office, also the Attorney General, that opinion was gotten, and then what happens? they cancel the Board of Supervisors meeting. And then, uh, thanks to Bill and Karen and making that motion and finding how to force them back into a meeting, a vote was taken and, uh, and they had no longer had an excuse to avoid. And, and I think it's important to talk a little bit about the history of 16602. That bill was authored, uh, Tom Ryan was a very, very important instrumental part of that bill. It's not all what we wanted, but it's the best we could negotiate. And of course, Ted Downing and Senator, uh, I forget her name, it was a Prescott area, uh, worked very hard to get this bill passed. I was hoping that Ted would be here today because I wanted Ted to talk about the fact that when that bill was passed, part of the bill was stated that if we negotiate in having county elections verifiable that they would have vetoed the bill and that was kind of left out and and really I'm hoping that with your office that somehow you can assist us on a county and city level to make all elections verifiable and uh, so that's where I'm urging and then just a couple of minor housekeepings here you know I'm looking at this agenda and I'm really kind of shocked and, uh, and you know, two minor things happened during the election with the entry and the reason they did it was to print a zero report. That's a lie. I have on tape that morning the zero report being made and put on a CD roll. What were they doing in that breach when it happened? We are producing a video that goes all into this detail. 
but I'm shocked that our elections administrator, Mr. Nelson, could lie to three TV stations in a row in saying that he knew nothing about the breach when in fact he was in the room 30 minutes after it happened and he seconds. ordered up a report. My time's up. 30 seconds. Well, 30 seconds. Uh, that he, he was there. And also, there's other things that have me concerned, the protocol in this office. They've added two computers to put it in a network, okay? The cage has been moved slightly, they're up and opening it from the other side. They're gingerly putting the seal on, but most astounding is during this breach that happened for over an hour, every, all the election people were in the room. And, uh, and so basically, that's all the time I have. Thank you, Mr. Wright. Anyone else? Yes. I state your name and Good morning, Honorable Richard.